So, judgment. When you're, uh, emotional well being is important. Uh, if you can see what I'm saying about constitutional rights. Everyone in this country is to grant each other their constitutional rights throughout everything they do. Doing so maintains an emotional well-being that keeps everyone and everything doing well, doing the best they can, making the right choices. Uh, you know, and doing more of the right thing. Um, I mean, when your emotional well-being is shot, you aren't at all, you're not even thinking right. Now, You know, because of everything that I've gone through in life, I'm a diehard emotional well-being fan. Had I been thinking right and doing the right things, I wouldn't have had half the trouble that I have encountered. Uh... Now, if you look back through a few, a couple to a few of the previous videos that I recently uploaded, uh, you'll hear me talk about loving yourself. If you love yourself, you are not going to treat anyone in your home like shit. Because would you really want to bring their uh, rejection for all your shit upon yourself? I never sat around and fucked with my wife, period. I don't do it. And so when someone says, you know, hey, he's got a history of uh, domestic violence, when, 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 when I hear that, I automatically think, oh, the drunk piece of shit or the fucking egotistical dickhead uh, just constantly fucking with people in his family and then, you know, picking at someone, driving him insane and then, you know, in his, in, in their flights for control, they physically abuse and it's just like, Look, I'm not a control freak. I'm not going to fuck with my family. My children's emotional well-being is crucial to their overall development. So, you know, if you want to understand what happened uh, with me and my wife, you can watch her video, the video I've se secretly recorded, 
yeah, I understand. Uh, you're, it's illegal to record confidential conversations. It was not at all confidential. Our children were present. It was an abusive situation. And I recorded that for you, for somebody to help us not fucking turn your backs on us. I mean, that day when I called in for emergency, uh, uh, help and support, I called in that I had a video. And then when the deputy was there, I said, hey. And he fucking shrugged it off. I said, hey, I have this video. I don't know, you know, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know how to explain what's happening, so I had to record it. Um, he fucking shrugged it off and left the kids and I there to, you know, Could you imagine how nice this country will be when everyone is granting each other their constitutional rights? I mean, they're not only constitutional, they're human. Uh, human rights. Um, you know, people won't feel so... Uh, inept about um, confidence. I mean, a lot of the time this whole my house, my rules, I'm the king of the castle type shit is destroying people spiritually and emotionally and they don't deserve that. Kids don't deserve that. They don't. I mean, if, if you're just going to spend all your time killing the spirit of your children so that they do exactly what you want them to do, it's like, fuck you, dude. So that they see exactly the way you want them to see, so that they think exactly the way you want them to think, fuck that shit. You know, everyone's different. We're supposed to bring our children into this world. We're supposed to give them everything they need to grow in a positive light. And, you know, here's, here's, here's the final part. I got into it with some gangbangers a little over a decade ago, some Norteños over in Antioch. And I got handy with one of them. Uh, stuffed him into the bushes across the street from the police station and thumped him a couple of times because it was like four in the morning. Me, I was out walking my dog and I could hear from blocks away, someone yelling, someone yelling, you know, and I was just like, oh God. And then, and then I'm watching down the road and I'm like watching this car blast out of the parking lot where everyone was having this altercation, flip a bitch in front of the police station and drive back in there. Well, they, they began driving over each other and doing all kinds of crazy shit. I'm like, fuck that shit. Uh, I grew up in that town. 
I put up with a lot of shit from those kind of kids. Game banging is fucking dumb. Uh, the whole uh, fear mongering thing they do, like, oh, they're in a game, so you better just fucking heed them. No, I don't. I don't heed shit like that. And so I go down there and like, it seems, it seems to have all ended, but this girl walks up to me. She's like, hi. And she, her friends are walking behind her. And she's like, hi, I know you. She's, she's playing, you know, playing her way out of there. And, and she's like, Hey, get, walk with me. I had big pit bull. I was mountain, we were mountain strong. I was like, sure. So I walked them through the hood of downtown Antioch called Tortilla Flats. And uh, she was fucking stoked. So anyway, when when I finished walking them, we, we departed each other. We said, thank you, and, you know, see you later, whatever. And so I went back down to the waterfront and uh, this this other girl, her name is Monique. I don't remember her boyfriend's name, but fuck, he was a fucking shithead. Uh, he started getting crazy. Uh, you know, she needed my. I let her. I let him use my phone, and that little fucker. About ready to throw the phone, about ready to hit her, about ready to, and I was just like, oh no, 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 you know, so I fucking dropped my bag, grabbed him, stuffed him in the bushes, gave him a couple thumps. I told him, dude, we're trying to help you, we're trying to help you get out of this situation, you're fucking shitting on everyone, you're screaming at your mom on the phone, calling her a fucking bitch. You know, telling this other girl she's a fucking bitch. And she's like, sorry, man. That ain't gonna fly here. You don't come down to... The, you don't... Seriously. Don't come down to the waterfront. And do that stupid shit. It's... Not... His place to fucking... Create that kind of vibe. That sort of environment. That, that sort of anything, that problem, and then, like, no one can do anything about it because he's in a fucking gang? Uh-uh. No, thank you. So, anyway, Jesse, you know, my wife and I moved to uh, Glen Haven and shooting the shit with the new neighbors and stuff. Uh... Uh, different things like that, and uh, we're talking about one thing and another, and I, 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 I explained, I, I, I divulged that, you know, I didn't, you know, I didn't talk, I didn't tell the story for a gloating purpose. I share my stories so that others know type of person they're living next to what type you know how they can you know find help in types in times of need uh find encouragement safety uh that sort of thing well this this fucking trailer trash ass fucking retard Apparently, her drug dealer is a Nortenia up there. Her name's Corinne Wright. I don't know. She lives at the last spot. The last... Uh, the, the very last trailer spot at Mar, Mar Vista Trailer Park across the street from the police station where we lived. And... She has a special needs daughter named Amber. She fucking went and told her drug dealer. 
And so one day Jessica, Jessica, you know, comes comes home and says something about she's going with Corey. Um, and see what's going on with everything and stuff like that. And then I said, okay, you know, I had the kids. We couldn't get anyone. I would, I would have rather gone myself. Um, but she got home, you know, and said, you don't have anything to worry about. And I was just like, okay. And so having faith in my wife, I let it go and seriously didn't forget it, but forgot about it. Okay. Now, one thing I know about my wife is that um, if she feels like anyone's in danger or anything like that, she's going to do everything she can so that no one gets hurt. And, um, you know, just recently I finally realized that there's an issue. Um, so, You know, time went on, you know, there was a, enough time in between, hey, you don't have to worry about anything, and when things really started to get dysfunctional and abusive at home, to where I didn't make any connection whatsoever. Um, you know, going back and thinking over things, I'm like, oh, Okay, so someone else in the park told me, they pulled me aside and said, hey, you know, I don't know what Jessica's doing, but everyone who comes in, you know, she, she's, she gets super flirty, and then the next thing they know, she's disappearing with them. I'm just like, okay, you know, and she's disappearing with them. And I'm like, okay, well, one day I found her down around the corner. Or one night I found her down around the corner. Uh, at the, at, at Melissa's gate. I don't know Melissa's last name. And she had, you know, with some man. And I'm like, all right, whatever. Well, you know, Jessica has literally gone so fucking loopy. You know, I just, re I also recently remembered that one day she told me that she cheated on me. And I was just like, I was blown the fuck away because when, when her and I first met, uh, she explained that her mom had cheated on her dad and that her, her and her dad don't do that infidelity bullshit. They don't fuck, you know. Anyway, the other day or the other week, I called the uh, Gulf Breeze, Florida Police Department. I told him, hey, could you please do a welfare check for my wife and kids? Uh, and I told him, look, rather than not, you know, other than just doing a welfare check, figure out who's there, if there's anyone there, and make sure that they are not gang members. 
know what I mean? Make sure they're not gang members. If they are, they need to be removed immediately. And so, um, he says, okay, and whatever. And he calls me back a couple minutes later. He says, Mr. Mr. Thompson, uh, you've got to stop uh, trying to do stuff like that and shit. And if you continue to do it, uh, you're going to be arrested for harassment. And I'm like, did you, I'm like, did you hear the fucking words I said to you? This is not a bullshit thing, dude. You know, I didn't say this to him, but I'm just like, what the fuck? Okay. I understand this. That, you know, first of all, gain, gain, being a gang member is like a felony or some shit. And second of all, if there's any gang members at that house in Florida, they're not there with the right intent. And so my family needs to be checked on. I'm not saying you have to go to the door. I'm not saying anyone has to do anything. I'm saying this needs to be fucking investigated. That chick Corinne, she she like her name she goes by a Corey. Uh thinks she's all fucking badass or something, has hard Corey tattooed on her shit. Uh and it's just like, you know what? I know for a fact that you fucking you fucking sold us out for dope. We were I was going somewhere with her one day and she's you know, she's in the car and she's like telling me about her Nortenio drug dealer and was telling me that he gives her dope for free. He gives her dope for free. And that I'm just like, okay, you know. Anyway. This needs to be checked. This needs to be investigated. I understand that gang members do crazy shit to people's wives and stuff like that. And it's apparent. What happened in that video was not, didn't just happen that night, it happened every day. You know, Jessica, that was every day, off and on all day long. I mean, that girl, she isn't just gonna call the police. She doesn't like you guys. She doesn't like you guys unless it suits her, you know, unless it's been, she, she has this thing, this saying, this phrase, a cab. And you know, she's talking shit with people and stuff like that. She goes, a cab, all cops are bastards. And it's just like, gosh, you got so many phrases that it's almost like, uh, for, you know, it's almost like, can you, Uh, instead of coining things, can you like, I don't know, whatever. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, Here's the thing, when all this, when all of this uh, restraining orders and uh, protection orders come to an end, 
if I get down, you know, shall I get down? I will get down to Florida. But shall I get there? And I find that some kind of gang member trying to pull some mafioso shit on my wife has, to, has occurred. And, you know, then that's what's up. Someone may die. I'm fucking around. I'm fucking around with gangbangers. I'm fucking around with their shit. Uh, I believe and understand my wife to have been extorted. And the police in Florida didn't didn't hear it. They didn't want to hear it. They uh, stuck to this whole uh, judgment being drawn askew. I'm telling you right now. Telling you right now. I'm liable to run down there and fucking check on my family. I don't give a fuck what you people think. Say or do. I can barely walk. You want to shoot me? For fucking checking on my family. I got some shit to do. You know, I gotta get my driver's license back. I gotta get a vehicle. I gotta handle my debts. I'm trying to get all that done by the time these this uh these protection order is over. And uh whatever Corinne did with her fucking drug deal in Nortenia. Yeah. You ever seen the smash crew come through?